Hey guys, how are you doing? Hello. Good evening. How is everybody? How was uh, how was work today, guys? How's the the weather in your area? Uh, good, Chuck. Good. All good. All right. Okay. Uh, right. There is there is no uh, rain. It's not raining. It's not um, raining. It's not raining. Yeah, dude. I hate that because it's it's mm -hmm. very it's very uh it's very it's very hot. You know. Yeah. 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 Yes. That's crazy, yeah. man. That's that's crazy. Yes, a little hot. <laughs> yes. Yes. It's it's very hot, guys. Okay. I've been struggling today because I work from home. Like I have another, you know, I have like my like my primary job is is from home too, you know. So I gotta I gotta deliver class and everything. And then I'm here the whole day, you know. <laughs> and then I have a class. I have to do homework. And then I'm you know I'm delivering this class and preparing the class here. So I spend the whole day home, guys. I I I really want to go out now because i like it's too hot you know? like, <laughs> go to the movies <laughs> now i can because because um because i mean i i mean this finishes at 10 and then i don't know um uh, but I'll, I'll i guess i'll go out tonight just you know just somewhere uh i'll just ride my motorcycle because i just okay you have uh, a motorcycle you know? yes ah, okay. yes okay 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 yes i do i do anyways guys how are you how's how's everything How was work? How was your uh, how was your day today, Doctor Barrientos? Oh, you're muted. Mal de teacher, eh? Good evening, David. Good evening, Betty. Hello, how are you? Good to see you here. Thank yes. you. I'm fine. You? Right. How are you? Um, I'm good, and I'm 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 um I'm hot, but <laughs> but I'm hot because it's it's uh. It's hot in here, you know. Anyways, um, remember, guys, to have your cameras turned on. Turned on. Uh, nice to see you here. Welcome, Cesar, Jose, Betty, Lisette, Jose, Isaias. We have like three Jose's here. Uh, Yvonne, Francisca, Susana, Emerson. Good to see you guys. Claudia, Astrid, Francisco, Karen. All right. Good to see you guys. Good to see you. Anyways, so what's good, guys? All right, ready for ready for um for complete uh for to um ready for complicating your life. Yes. <laughs> With grammar. <laughs> All right, very good. I'm gonna yeah. ask, so today, guys. Today, guys, I'm gonna complicate your life with a new topic. Okay. All right, so let's uh, let's get down to business, guys. Everybody, repeat. Let's get down to business. Let's get let's down, get down to, business. to business. All right, it's spelled like this, guys. Okay, let's get down to business. Okay, it means um, how do I? I don't know how to translate, it, but it means like let's do what we have to do. Okay, let's let's focus on what we are supposed to do. All right, vamos a enfocarnos, vamos a trabajar ya en lo que tenemos que trabajar. That that's what it means. Okay. All right. Anyways, guys, all right? So, uh, um, that is like, uh, vamos al grano. There you go. There you go. Dude, that's great. Good job. Thank you, Google Translate. All right. <laughs> no, I mean, that's, that's good, right? That's like the expression, you know, like, vamos al grano, right? Very good. So, um, so that's, yeah, kind of like the same thing, right? Anyways, so, um, so we're here, guys. Okay. So, we're going to talk, guys, about there is and there are. All right. And how we use that, okay? So now, guys, first off, I will ask you not to try to translate it, okay? Because if you try to translate it, there is no specific translation for this, okay? In Spanish, we don't we don't have this type of difference, okay? So what is today's objective? Um, can somebody help me read? Who wants to help me read, guys? Me. Let's go, me. Okay. Is this? participant will learn about how to ask and answer questions with this are one any some very good repeat answer not answer 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 this is answer. like an 
And answer. then, sir, answer, answer, like that. Sir. Answer. Or like this, right? Answer. answer. All right. Answer. Very good. Answer. Good job, guys. Okay, so we're going to learn how to ask questions and how to respond with there is, there is and there are, okay? So into this agenda, guys, okay? Uh, we're going to see there is and there are. I don't know what it says in Finnish there, guys, but we're going to see practice too, okay? So first off, okay, let's listen to a conversation from the platform, okay? Hey, by the way, guys, have we now have we finished section number two? Yes, yes, I am. All right. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yes, yes, I did. Not I am. Yes, I did. I'm okay. sorry, yes, I did. Yes, I All did. Right. Very good, guys. Very good. Okay, so let's listen to the conversation. Oh, that's great. I didn't. Why is the link not working there? All right, give me one second, guys. I'm gonna have to pull up the platform because that thing right there was supposed to have the link, so give me one second. So the worst thing can happen at the worst possible moment, right? All right. All right, guys, so I got, I got your video now. Let me know, guys, if you can hear, okay? Places around town. Can you hear? Yes, each other. Here. All right, very good. Hold on. I think yes, it's a little okay. bit low. Very good. Hey, how do you say incremental volume? How do you say that? Turn your volume. Turn up. Repeat, guys. Turn up. Turn up. Okay, turn, turn up, up the volume, right? The volume. And how do you how do you think that you say bajale? Turn, turn down. down. Turn, turn down, down, right? Turn down uh -huh. the volume, right? And how do you? Wow. Like completely, you don't want to hear anything anymore. Turn it off, right? Turn it off. Okay. Anyways, um, everybody to section eight. What's your neighborhood like? As we always do, we listen to a conversation in order to get ready for our topics, which will include places around town, location, and there is, there are. So I want you to to take a look at uh, three things here, guys. All right. I want you to take a Can look, you listen well, to not to take a look places? at it, guys, but I want you to pay attention to to how we use in the conversation, how, do, how we use there is and how we use there are, okay? That's one thing. And I also want you to take a look at the prepositions, okay? So um, all right, be aware, right? be mindful of the prepositions, okay? Got it? All right, so prepositions and there is and there are. So, how is this basically how does this how this helps you guys is by um by giving you an idea on how these topics are used in real life okay right so that is that is basically you know the whole idea behind this okay so let's get a listen to it it's around town location and there is there are in this session, you will listen to a conversation between neighbors asking about places in town. Pay attention to there is, there are, one, any, and some. Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center, too. A barber shop? All right, guys. Okay. All right. So now let me ask you, let me ask you some questions, okay? First of all, guys, what was the man, all right, uh, what was the man looking for? Let me, let me share the screen again. Not that. This one right here. I'm okay, your so, new neighbor. So here, guys. Okay. So so what is the man? What is the man looking for? He was looking uh, a grocery he's store. He's looking for grocery a store. grocery store. Grocery store. Uh, he's looking for a grocery store, right? Very good. Let's get vocabulary, guys. What is the meaning of moved in? I just moved in. Repeat, guys. I just moved. I just moved in. 
Uh, just, just moved in. in. Just in. All right, just he, moved in means, guys, huh? He's yeah. new in the neighborhood. He's new exactly. in the neighborhood. There you go, okay? It means that he's new in the neighborhood. There you go, okay? He is new. Very good, okay? I just moved in. All right. Um, what what is a what is a what is a um, uh, a laundromat? What's a laundromat? Washing machine. Washing. It's a no, place, machine. guys. It's Washing a place where you go. Right. Right, beautiful Google like Translate. Laundry. Thank you very much, Google Translate. <laughs> Lavanderia. Yes, that's what it is, guys. In Spanish, right? But we're not supposed to translate it. Okay. So, anyways, okay. So it's a it's a it's a place. It's a place where you take the, your clothes. Uh, to be washed okay you wanna all right you wanna uh, you wanna take it there so the machines you know so washing machines can wash them okay very good uh, uh this one guys i think there is one across from the shopping center okay do we have any prepositions here what prepositions have we found so far guys across from across from okay across so from. we have all right so we have across from all right uh, where is the cross from here? Uh, in the shopping center. On, on Pine Street. Okay, so first, okay, so we have on Pine Street. So we have one here. Uh, we got a cross from, all right, a cross from. Uh, what else? Near. Near, very by good, the way. okay. By the way. By the way. All right, by the way, is that a preposition? Around. All right, around. Where is I don't see guys. <laughs> I, uh, looking for a grocery store. Are there around, around here? here? Around here. Very good. Around here. All right. Oh, good. Are there any laundromat near here? Very good. So we got near. Very good, guys. Do where do we have the reason there are? In. Are there any around here? Are there? All right. Are there? Okay. So are there? Very good. So we got are there here. And there yes, are, there are. There. There All are right, some. So, so we got there are some. Okay, we're, there's some. Very good, guys. Very good. Okay. All right. So now, guys, without knowing Spanish, okay, guys, if you hear noise in the background, it's raining. Woo, it's finally raining. Jesus Christ, it's been so hot today. So, yeah, it's um, in your house. Yeah, yeah, it's it's hot, you know. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> so so here, guys, okay, so so when I say teacher, uh, 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 teacher I have a question for you. Teacher, uh, Teacher, teacher, teacher. There you go. <laughs> teacher, uh, wh what part of, of San Salvador do you live? Tecla. Tecla. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Because right. in San Salvador, there is no raining. Nice. Oh, it's uh, not raining. San no, Salvador, Sa there is no raining. In San Salvador, it's like hotter, you know? Yes. Like here, Tecla is a little bit chilly. But, but you know, not today, though. It's been really hot today. Anyways, guys, so... So when we want to point out to where something is, right, or how many things we have, you know, we use there is or there are, okay? So that is, that, that's what we use, okay? All right, there is or there are, okay? All right, so good job, guys, okay? Good job at identifying the prepositions and there is and there are, okay? All right, take a look at... Um, all right, let's take a look at this, okay? So how do we ask questions, guys, okay? Um, now let's, let's, let's learn how to ask questions. So the way we ask questions, guys, all right? Um, let's take a look at examples here, and then I'll, I'm gonna teach you, okay? So what is the first question? What is the first question that we have here? Who'd like to help me read the first question, guys? With is there is there or there. Is there a laundromat near here? Is there a laundromat a laundromat near here? Near here. Okay. All right. Very good. And the the answer the answer would be what? Yes, there is. There is. There is. Yes, there is one, one across, one the, across shopping from the shopping center. All right. There is one across from the shopping center, right? So you're looking for something, right? You're looking for something and then you're giving the answer. You're telling, hey, you know, this is where it is, okay? All right, we're gonna see more about that later, guys, okay? All right, and how do you give a negative answer? Let's see, help me read. 
Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick the the people with the cameras turned off, guys. Ivan, Jose, help me read, Jose. Ivan. Are there any grocery store around here? No, no, no. The 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 negative answer. How do we answer negatively? Uh, no, there isn't. But there's one next to the library. Very good. So no, there isn't, right? But there is one next to the library. Okay. All right. Very good. Very good. Okay. Notice, guys. Notice this. Okay. What does it say there? What does it say here, guys? Um, one, right? Okay. One. We, one. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, that's okay, Karen. Thank you for letting me know. Okay, very good. All right. Um, all right. Now, what is the difference, guys, between is there and are there? Is there any difference or do they mean the same? One is singular. Nice, nice guys. You should be delivering the class. That's great. All right, very good. Emerson Caceres, help me read Emerson. So let's read are the question. There, uh -huh. Are there any grocery store around here? Repeat, grocery stores. Grocery stores around here. Around here, very good, good job, okay? Are there any grocery stores around here? All right, and the answer, guys, when we when we talk about plurals is? Yes, there are. Yes, yes, there are, yes, yeah. there are right? Yes, there are. Repeat, yes, yes there are. Yes, there Just are. Yes, there are. Very yeah. good, okay, all right. Astrid, help me read the negative answers, Astrid. So there aren't, uh, there are some on the avenue. Oh, I repeat, no, there aren't. No, there aren't. Aren't, repeat, aren't. 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 Okay, but there are some on Third <laughs> Avenue. There are some on, on Third Third. There, Avenue. No, third, like a th 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 thorro. Third. third. <laughs> all right, good job, good job, right? Very good, guys. Yeah. All right, all right, very good, guys. Okay, all right, so that's that's a quick look at this, guys, okay? Notice, guys, that we are going to be working with prepositions as well, okay? So we're going to have to talk about prepositions, okay? Now, the prepositions that we got here, guys, are these are very important to uh, talk about direction, okay? Direction of, of where, where something is located, all right? So let's take a look at, let's take a look at the, um, let's take a look at the structure, guys, the structure. How do you answer it? How do you ask and answer questions, okay? So the structure goes like this, guys, okay? If, in this case, guys, is becomes the auxiliary, okay? What is this, guys? Very, very auxiliary, very okay. This is the auxiliary, auxiliary, okay. Now the auxiliary guys comes at the beginning, right? This happens when we make any question, okay. All right, so you go. So the structure is like this, guys. Okay, you have is there or are there, right? The difference, guys, is that this talks about this is to ask singular, about singular, right? Singular, singular nouns. Plural. Right. Singular, and then we have, very good, okay? This is when we wanna ask about plural, all right? Very good. So now, guys, now what do we have after is there or um, is there or are there? What comes next? Next we have, all right, you have to use a noun, okay? All right, very good. So in this case, guys, in this case, today, in today's case, guys, we're gonna use a place, okay? All right? It's okay. gonna be a place down, right? All right, and then you're gonna use a preposition and then a complement, okay? Oh, by the way, question mark. All right, don't forget about the question mark, okay? All right, guys, so how do I ask questions, okay? Let's take a look at the first example. Um, uh, 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 who else? 
Uh, Lisette, all right, help me read the first question, Lisette. Now, take a look at this, guys, okay? You're gonna have to use a place here. So take a look, uh, talk about a place. Is there a, you can say, you know, you can mention your, your Saturday's best place, guys, a liquor store. Is there a liquor store around here or near? <laughs> I, I know. <laughs> That's for Saturdays and Sundays, right? Very good. So anyways, okay, so Lisset, okay, give me, all right, let's help me read the first, the first, uh, the first question. Now, if we want to talk about the place, guys, this is the place, okay? All right, or, or you can say pharmacy or whatever, right? Well, actually, don't use the gas station because it says next to the gas station, right? So it is whatever it is next to the gas station, okay? All right, so let's go, Lisette. Um, uh, for example, one, a chicor, for example, uh, a what? A chicor? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> eh, alguna, tiene que ser alguna cosa. It has to be a place. A place. Is there a shopping center near here? Very good. Okay, right. That's great, guys. Okay, is there a shopping center near here? Good job, all right? Feels really sad, guys. Good job, okay? All right. So, uh, all right, let's, all right, now that you mentioned it, uh, Carla, all right, Carla, let's try another place, okay? Is there a? Mm. Supermarket. Is there a supermarket? Good job, okay, all right, is there a supermarket? Do me a favor, everybody send me an example, okay? Everybody in the chat room, guys, send me your example, okay? All right, as we, uh, as I ask everybody here, okay? Um, let's see, Gabriela, right? Gabriela, give me another place, Gabriela. Is there a what? I am or other Gabriela. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm sorry, Gabriela Saray. I'm so sorry, guys. Oh, thank you, teacher. Okay. Are there, are there, are there, I'm um, sorry, are there a restaurant in the um, in the avenue, in the in the Gabriela Mistral Avenue. Sorry. I don't listen you, teacher. Okay. Oh. All right, guys, can you hear me? Okay. Yes. 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 And oh, I'm so sorry. I, I was not able to. I was not able to hear you before. Yes, Ga Ga Gabriela. What? What? Uh, can you give me please? Can you give me the example again, please? Okay. Are there any restaurants in the Avenue Gabriela? Restaurants. Restaurants. Very good. Are there any restaurants? All right. Very good. Okay. Good job, Gabriela. Well done. Right. Plus for Gabby, guys. Well done. Right. Keep sending me your answers, guys. Okay. Let's take a look at your answers. Okay. So, so according to your answers, guys. Okay. Let's say. Let's see, uh, Betty, is there, is there a barber shop near here? Are there some shops near here? Good job, uh, Lisette. Teacher, I have problems with it. <laughs> All right, send me an example, guys. Uh, uh, what? <laughs> the examples, I was asking you for the examples and you said, teacher, I have problems with the internet. I will have the camera turned up. All right, oh, yeah. uh, Jose Carlos. <laughs> All right. uh, is there a park near here, okay? Good job, Lillian. Is there a cinema near here? Guys, usually people call them movie theaters, okay? Not cinemas, all right? Uh, Caesar, Adonai, is there a grocery dog drugstore near here? Near? No, all right. I'm gonna, guys, this right here? On the drugstore. <laughs> okay, very good, okay? Hay una tienda de drogas, right? Actually, that's the real meaning, guys, but because a drug, you know, it's medicine. Medicines are drugs, right? Yes, doctor. <laughs> so you say is right? Is there a is there a drugstore? All right, not drugstore, grocery store. No, drugstore, no, just I, like that. Okay. I I got that other thing. I I'm I got thing in, in our thing. <laughs> I, okay, right. Yeah. Okay, I just want I just want to point something out here. That you say near, okay? Is there a drugstore nearby, okay? 
if if you if you use near at the end you have to say nearby okay or you can say is there uh is there a drugstore near the area right see this one doesn't go at the end right but good job good job right um uh, is there a grocery store near here is there a hotel near here very good uh claudia is there a hosp hospital near here jose is there a library around here uh astrid is there a table in the kitchen okay is there a hospital near here is there a bookstore near here is there a hotel near here is there a kindergarten across the street across this street okay very good Tell me, is there a school near here? Uh, is there a bakery near here? Is there a pharmacy here? Very good, guys. Very good. Is there a gas station near here? Good job, guys. Guys, good job. Okay. I think that you've seen this topic before, huh? All right. Very good, guys. Okay. So now, how do you answer? Okay. Learn how to give short answers and long answers. So how do you give, before we get here, okay. So how do you give long answers, guys? I'm sorry, uh, short answers. So let me ask you, Kate. I'm going to ask another person now. Ask you, Francisco Artiga. Francisco. Hey, Francisco. Is there is there a is there a supermarket near your house? No, there isn't. No, there isn't. Right there, you go. Thank you. Good job, Francisco. Good job. Okay. All right, guys. So here, no, there isn't. Right. Everybody, repeat. No, there isn't. No, there isn't. No, no, there isn't. Okay, no, right? Hurts. That is a short answer, okay? But if you would like to give me a long answer, what would you have said? All right, what was the question, guys? What was my question? My question was, is, is there, there a... Uh -huh. Go ahead. So, yes. Yes, Yvonne? So I asked, is there a grocery a grocery store near your house? Okay. All right. And the, the answer was, he said, no, there isn't, right? No, there so, isn't. So you can answer like this, guys, okay? You can answer like, no, there isn't, right? No, there isn't. There isn't. Now, guys, when you want to emphasize that if you're going to say no, guys, with an auxiliary or with a question, guys, you have to use any, okay? Any means none, but only, guys, when there is a negative. All right, this is getting too complicated here, guys, okay? But uh, I'll explain in a moment, guys, okay? There isn't any store or any grocery store around here, okay? All right, guys, so notice something, Teacher, right? Tell me. Uh, is that correct if I say no, there isn't? There is no one around here. There is no, no one. No, no, there is no one means you're it means that you're talking about a person. Are we talking about a uh, person here or are we talking about a place, guys? A place, a place, but I don't right. know if I if it's correct. I if I say there is no one. No, it is, it is correct if you're talking okay. about a person, okay? Okay. But okay, to answer okay. this question, it is incorrect. Now, guys, okay. Let's talk about any, okay? This is what's giving us a lot of issues here, okay? Any. This has no translation, guys. Do not try to translate it, okay? If you have, guys, okay? All right, if, if, right? You have the particle not in the sentence, you can use any, all right? Got it? But if you don't, okay? If you do not have this particle, you cannot use this. Got it? So you can answer, for example, there aren't any stores, right? So in your case, guys, in this case, this means ninguna, right? But that's a mistake because you shouldn't be translating this, right? No deberían de estar traduciendo esto porque any no significa ninguno, guys. Cuando vos tenés la partícula not, entonces lo puedes usar. But any significa cualquiera también, you know? All right, so if you use it, guys, if you use the particle not, si vos usas la particle not, vos tenés que usar any, cuando te referís a ninguno. All right? Got it? All right. So, all right. Or you can say, you can, you can say this, okay? You can say there are no stores. 
there are no stores, right? Okay. Yes, I'm sorry. Somebody, yeah. uh, tell me, go ahead. We don't use any in a question, right? No, in a question, you can use it. You can say, is there any person? Well, is there any dog here? Okay, is there any dog here? Yes, I am a dog. Yes. No. <laughs> Yes. All right. No. All yes. right so. <laughs> and why don't you use is there some dog here? But yes. you don't have the 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 not here. Yes, yes, there is. That that's a topic, guys. Okay, that's that's I that's have a topic. For ducks. I don't know if I if I use if there's some dog here. And for All the right. answer, we'll to answer it, mm. to answer. To, to answer that question, guys, I'm sorry for interrupting. We're going to have to get more organized, and that's a different topic. But I'll, I'll give you a quick rundown. Rundown, guys. Rundown, rundown, guys. Do you remember what that means? Summary, okay? Rundown equals summary, okay? So I'm going to give you a quick rundown on what this means, guys, okay? So, guys, when I uh, when we're asking questions, all right, and we're going to focus. I'm only going to focus, guys. I'm not going to give you a full class on any or some because that's not the topic for today, right? But uh, regarding there is and there and there are, okay? Talking about this topic, okay? So for questions, okay, for questions, right? So let's talk about any, right? Uh, you can say, is there any, um, is there any dog here, okay? All right, is there any dog here? But why can you? This means, guys, okay, any, guys, is an adverb, okay? No, I'm sorry, it's it's an adjective, okay? Now, this is an adjective, guys, that represents an individual within a group of things. For example, if you have one person here, Coronaberto, Chupaberto, right? Petroberto, all right. Chayanne, Chayanne. All right, and then you have Chayanne down here, okay? So is this a group, guys? Is this a group? Yes. All yes. right. Yeah. Yes. And, and then, then you have El Firulais, right? Yes. That, all right, I don't know how that is a dog. Okay, so let me do my best representation of a dog in. With the word cool, you can draw a dog. All right. Sí. Where do where you are, Carejo? This is such a. It's like a cow. Not like a cow. That is a <laughs> ugly dog. It's a bull. Cow. It's a cow. It's chupacabras. It's a demo. All right. So, anyways, guys, okay. <laughs> that, that's such not a, a cow, you know. I mean, a dog. Okay, so this, this is your dog, guys, okay? Right? This is your dog, okay? <laughs> All right, so demon dog. <laughs> I'm using a mouse, guys. Okay, forgive me, right? <laughs> you know, I fun fact is that I, I actually can draw, you know. I, I, I like to draw portraits of faces, you know. Yeah, de caras. But I'm using a mouse, I believe guys. You, I believe you, I believe you. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> It does. It's, 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 it's just funny because it does look like a cow. It's just like the only thing that you're missing is this, you know, right? <laughs> anyways, so anyways, that's a dog. Okay, that's a new breed of dogs, right? So when I say, guys, is there any dog around here? I'm talking about an individual. Estoy hablando de un individuo dentro de un grupo de personas, right? El problema es que estamos traduciendo eso. No lo traduzcan, okay? Solo recuérdense, es un una cosa dentro de un grupo de algo, okay? That's it. Got it? Wow. So when I say, so oh, no. el grupo de cosas aquí it. son las personas, right? El individuo acerca de esas personas es una, un, un perro. I was going to say un a cow, cow, right? But it's not a cow, right? Okay? <laughs> Very good, guys. <clears throat> All right. It's a cat, cat cow. I mean, a, a cow dog. <laughs> cow dog. All I right. Anyways. You. A Claudio. <laughs> no. Claudio. <laughs> <laughs> You guys are very funny. <laughs> All right, the, the camisetas, right? That that started every, everything here. Uh, anyways, okay. All right, so, so so guys, yes, do you have a question? No, okay, very good. All right, do we understand how we use any, guys? All right, do you understand the meaning of any now, right? 
So when I say guys, okay, is when I say is there any store around? Well, let's look at let's. Uh, that's enough about questions, okay? If we say uh, is there any store around here, I'm referring to a specific place among a group of stores. Got it? All right. Very good. Okay. Yeah. So that's that's what we're talking about when we say is there any store around here? Now, you you can have yes, there is, right? There is. But guys. The only the other reason why we're gonna use any here is in negative, okay? In negative, right? So when we say no, you can say no, there isn't, or you can say no, there, right? If you're gonna give a long answer, first of all, we got the short version, which is this, all right, and then uh, we have the long one, which is this right here, all right. So so when we say uh, the long version, no, there isn't any. All right, you can say no, there isn't any, or there isn't any dog around here, right? Right, so in this case, guys, we're referring to an individual among a group of things, okay? We cannot use some, there isn't any, there isn't some dog around here. That is not possible, guys, okay? Some is not used, guys, for individuals. Some is used for, you know, um, for a group of people or for a group of things, you know? It's, it's different, guys, okay? We're gonna get there soon, okay? Right now, guys, focus on any, all right? Now, is there is there understood, guys? Is it understood why we use any here? Yes, yes, yes. All right? Yes. So questions and negatives, right? Good job, guys, good job, okay? All right, okay, so uh, any other complicated question, guys? <laughs> all right, I think, I think you, know, you, want, you know what's funny? That you're gonna remember this topic because because of the cow dog. That's what you're yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yes. the cow, the cow. You're never gonna. <laughs> cow, and right? I don't know how he turned out to be a, a cow, okay? <laughs> I'm going to sing, I'm going to sing in that row all the weekend. All right, you're gonna dream with a cow, right? <laughs> all right, good job, guys, good job, okay? All right, guys, so anyways, okay, so we gotta talk about prepositions now. So prepositions, guys, Um. so, so prepositions, guys, talk about the placement of things, right? Now, in this case, guys, we're going to talk about prepositions to help us talk about uh, directions because I have a game for you. All right, do you want to play a game? Yes. All right, very good, guys. All right, very good. Okay, we're going to play Mika. <laughs> okay. Now we're not going to play. All right, by the way, guys, the name of that in English is Tag, okay? Let's play Tag. Tag is what we call here Mika, all right? And by the way, escondelero, guys, hide and seek. Escondete, escondete y busca, okay? That's how you pronounce it, escondete. Anyways, <laughs> all right. So, um, so anyways, okay. So, so we have uh, we have different prepositions, guys. Let's go over them real quick. Beside, what is the meaning of beside, guys? I'm gonna use my crazy drawing skills here, okay? Beside, beside is you have Toxicoberto and Toxicoberta, right? Which is very, right? So you have two of them, all right? So Toxicoberta is be, besides Toxicoberta, right? Next to, right? So that's beside, all right? Very good. <clears throat> also, next to, guys, this also means next to, next to, right? So we say next to, you can say Corona Berta is beside. To, uh, called Toxicoberto. I just changed the names, by the way, right? So, anyways, <laughs> I'm tired, guys. I'm sorry. All right. So, <laughs> all right. So, Corona Berta is next to Toxicoberto, right? So they are next to each other, right? Very good. Next, guys. Okay. Near. What is near, guys? Cerca. All right. Very good. All right. Circation, right? No, it's cerca, guys. Okay, so you're like something is something is, you know, like you live here. You know, this is this is you. Well, this is me, guys. Okay, hold on. Oh, this is me, okay. <laughs> so this is me, guys. Okay, because I'm not that 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 skinny, right? So this is me, you know, and I wanna go to the, I wanna go to the grocery store because I am I am I am um I am. I am fat, okay? So I want to go to the grocery store and I want to eat something. But, you know, the grocery store is near, right? 
So what so what am I gonna accomplish here? Get fatter, right? Because I'm gonna be like going to the grocery store every single day, you know, and just buy a lot of things that are aren't good for me, right? Now uh, that is that is near, right? The 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 store is near me, right? Cerca, right? Uh, to the left of right to the left of is to the a la derecha. Right. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. To the left, right? Thank you, Google no. Translate, okay? <laughs> to the left is to the west, okay? West and east, right? All right, to the right, guys, okay? It's this this hand the right east. here, right? The, the, the east, okay? I think the screen is, is, you know, this is my right hand, by the way, guys, okay? All right, between, guys, what is the meaning of between? Entre. Entre. All right, very good. In guys, person, the, the two I, person. I love there you. There are three pairs. Uh, right. So, all right, so the third wheel, do you know what the third wheel means, guys? Exactly. So, this is, this is, you know, this is between, guys. All right, he's between. And he's between to Corona Berto. And Exactly, Roberto. right? Roberto. He, he is, guys, Roberto right, Chayana. That, Roberto Chayana. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is called a third wheel. Guys, do you know what a third wheel is? Yes. Yeah. Is. All right. Wheel. Oh. What is the third meaning wheel? Wheel, wheel, a wheel is a wheel. All right, a wheel, wheel. wheel, wheel. is. <laughs> All right, a wheel is this, guys, okay? Yeah, All right. Thank you. Thank you, Google Translates. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, okay? I mean, thank you, oh, Google Translate. Oh, thank you. All right. I understand. Yeah. All right, very good. A third wheel, guys, is, uh, is um, someone who doesn't belong there, okay? Like you are, let's say that you have a girlfriend or, or you're married, you know, you're, you both, you know, you two are together and then you have a friend. So that friend is a third wheel because, you know, you are a couple and, you, you know, the third one is not supposed to be there, right? So... <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> yes, okay. <laughs> what? Yes, it is that, okay. <laughs> All right, very good, guys. Okay, let's continue. Right? So, in front of, okay, so otherwise we're not going to play the game, guys, okay? In front of, okay. What is, what is, okay, very good. Thank you, okay? If you're just going to translate to Spanish, guys, okay, I'll let you be, okay? All right, just translate if you want now. <laughs> across from, what is the meaning of across from? <laughs> Cruzando. Cruzando. Thank you. When I didn't you, even know how to say that. When you're going on a street and you cross to the, to the other street. Very good. So I cross from is like this, guys. Okay. I cross from, right? Very good. Kitty corner to. What is a kitty corner to? Kina. All right. It's the corner, right? Thank you. Thank you. Google Translate again. All right. Around the corner of. The corner of, guys. Around the corner of. When you pass the corner. No, right, around the corner of guys is that you have you have I don't know you have this store right here. All right, so this is the store guys. Around the square is like you're here, right? You're here, and the entrance is here, right? Got it. So that is around the corner of. Okay. Uh, now guys, all right. This one, this part is right here. El, el Go ahead. Thank you, Lisette. Tell me. Hi. Uh, what is Kitty? Kitty. Yes. Kitty, do you remember Hello Kitty, guys? What is a cat? No. So it is a cat, guys. <laughs> All right, let me let me show you guys. I'm kidding. Guys. Kitty is a um, cat. <clears throat> no, no, yeah, I mean kitty is a cat, but the kitty corner, that's an expression, okay? It is, it is actually being um, diagonally opposite to someone, right? So it's like, it's like this. Let me, let me show you. The kitty corner, guys, right? The kitty corner is like you're here, right? There is a corner, right? So this is a corner, guys, okay? Hold on. <laughs> guys, you make me draw a lot, you know? And with a mouse that doesn't even work well. So this is a corner. Let's say that there is a store here, right? You have you have uh, the store here, right? La pupuseria, right? So the kitty corner means that you are here in this corner diagonally. Got it? So you could be. So so it means that 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 is the kitty corner, guys. Okay, estás the en la parte. Estás en la parte en la parte diagonal de la esquina. 
right? To, to be honest, guys, uh, almost nobody uses that, okay? But that is the meaning of a kitty corner. Um, it's it's so, like a esquina puesta, right? Yes, exactly. Exactly. The kitty corner is like the opposite corner. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it means that you're just diagonally opposite to someone. Yes, but la esquina puerta is another translation according to Mr. Google Translate. <laughs> All right. Kidding me. All right. Very good, guys. Good job. Thank you. Good, good question. Uh, good question, Lisa. All right, guys. So next up, guys, we have this. This is what I wanted to talk to you about. Okay. When you talk about streets, guys, every time that you talk about streets, guys, you're going to use the preposition on. What preposition are you going to use? On. All right. For example, guys, if you want to say, right, that you live in, I don't know, guys, give me the name of a street here. La Quinta, right? <laughs> All right. What? Avenida so Bernal. If, all right. If you want to say Bernal that you live in Bernal Avenue. Avenue. All right. All right. So I live. You can say I live on Bernard. Bernard. Bernard Avenue. Avenue okay. Nice all right. Or you can say I live on. Well, I live on. Or you can say you know take. Okay. Let's let's give directions. Right. Take. Take the left on. Uh, the fifth street, uh, the fifth avenue, right? All right, toma la izquierda en la quinta avenida. All right, got it? Okay. <laughs> All right, very good. So, see if you see here, guys, okay? All right, you're using the preposition on because when you're referring to streets, guys, you're gonna use the preposition on, okay? So, everything that you see, to tell me, tell me. Tell me. Sorry, sir. And we see the reference um, to on and in. I don't know that. A thousand things. <laughs> that is that is a that is <laughs> that is a long class, guys. Okay. But oh, uh, sorry. Yes, but basically, you know, the the general. Okay, the general. What I can tell you is that you use on for specific things. Okay, for specific. The more specific you are, you're gonna use um you're gonna use on at is the, the most specific thing you know the preposition at is super specific right but when you're being specific about places right you're gonna use on when you're gonna when you use in your general right for example you say i live in san salvador when we're referring to places right all right why because san salvador guys is it a is it a specific place or is it is it a big place uh -huh. Epic place. All right, very good. Okay, you wouldn't find me if I tell you if I told you, hey, I live in San Salvador, you wouldn't be able to find me. However, if I told you I live in um I don't know, uh okay, I live in I live in um I don't know whatever street, right? Uh Palo de Giote street. Okay, so if I if I tell you if I tell I live in Palo de I mean Hold on. I should say I um, live in. I live in on. Right? I live on, right? I live on, right? I live on Palo, right? Palo de Giote Street. Okay. I don't even know what that means, guys, but okay. So here, guys, because I'm being specific, right? Because I'm talking about a place that is specific. Like you can find me, right? You will be, you probably will be able to find me because I'm talking about a small place. You're gonna use on, right? That is the use that we give Gabriela to talk about places, right? Now there are other uses, okay, because we use this for time, we use this for transportation. We use prepositions for a lot of things, okay? So we're not going to have time to talk about all the other uses. However, for the sake of uh, understanding where we use prepositions of places, this is what I can tell you, okay? So, okay, I got it, right. Thank you. There you go, guys. I'm sorry, what was that? Thank you. I can't, guys, do my favor. Everybody mute yourselves because because I can't hear her. I'm sorry, could you please repeat that again? Uh, I muted everybody, by, by the way, guys. So so you, if you have a question, you have to unmute yourself. When do you what? Yeah, a little bit. When would you use at? We use okay. We use at guys. We use at when we're we're when we're being specific about 
time, right? Oh, I'll see you at 10 o'clock. Or when we're we, when you're giving your address. I live at uh, 32, 3212 January Street, apartment number three, St. Louis, Missouri, blah, 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 right? So specific time or specific address, right? That's where we use at for, okay. you know, location, right? Or time. All right, guys. So anyways, okay. So before we leave, guys, before we leave, uh, we leave, I'm sorry, before we leave, guys, let's uh, let's play a small game, okay? So you're going to guide me, guys, here. I, we don't have more, more, much time, guys, now because because uh, we we extended the you know the topic a little bit. But guys, okay, uh, guide me, okay. So I am here. You know what? Let you do it, guys. Okay, you draw now. Who wants to draw today, guys? Thank you, Rebecca Yvonne. All right, thank you, Yvonne. Yvonne, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you control of my computer now. And what you're gonna do is, all right. What you're gonna do, Yvonne, is you're gonna you're gonna place yourself around here, okay? So you're gonna draw a person, a little person here, all right. And then you are gonna ask for instructions, Rebecca, okay? So for example, I'm gonna ask, hey, I am Rebecca, guys, okay? How do I get to the to the bank, okay? How do I get to the bank? And then Lilian Sarai will answer, okay. Uh, take, right, so if you're here, right, if Rebecca is here, that is called Maple Avenue, okay? All right, so uh, go go straight on Maple Avenue, then take a, take a left on Pine Street. Everybody repeat, take a left. Take a left, take a left. right? I'll take a left. Take First a of left. all, guys, if you want to say, you know, and that's the recto, right? You say, all right, go straight straight on okay go straight on and the name here guys all right you need to to add the name the name oh my god what happens the name of the street okay all right and then you can say take or make right take a left or right on and again guys you're gonna use the name of the street okay Got it? So anyways, so Rebecca, so as people say that, you're gonna be drawing a line, okay? Vas a ir dibujando una línea a donde la gente te guíe, all right? Very good, okay. So uh, I know, sure. so tell me. Uh, go straight uh, on is the same with go straight ahead, right? Yes, yes. Okay. But when you say on, you're gonna mention the name of the street and that's what I want you to do. I want you to mention the name of the street, okay? So. Uh, so, Rebecca, it's time for you to draw your person wherever you want to draw it. Hora de que dibujes tu persona donde sea. Ponela donde sea y de ahí alguien te va a guiar, right? Let's go. Try to see if you can draw. Does it allow you to draw? All right. There you go. Okay, so Rebecca is at the, well, at the gym. Are you going to be at the gym? Rebecca is leaving blood all around the place. <laughs> and the handle sangre en todo lado ahí, right? <laughs> After coming out from the gym. Salió del gym, right? She was very tight. <laughs> let, let me help no. you with that, Rebecca. Yeah, okay, yeah. Let, right. So so no. there is Rebecca, okay? Rebecca is here. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> all right. So Rebecca, you're going to draw a line, okay? So who wants to guide Rebecca, guys? Rebecca, where do you want to go, Rebecca? Where do you want to go? I'm going uh, King Plaza Order. You want to go to the King's Plaza? Okay, you want to go to the hotel. All right. So, guys, who wants to help Rebecca get to the hotel? Me, teacher. Go ahead. I... Okay. Okay. Rebecca is going to Main Street, on Main Street, and at the corner of the third half. Hold on, hi. Right. Just step by step, right? All right, Rebecca, let's okay. follow the line, right? So she okay. said, take Rebecca. the main street, but take the main street where? To the right or to the left? Okay. Remember, guys, okay. use the vocabulary. Use the vocabulary okay. I gave you. Take a left or take a right. Okay, Rebecca, take a left on main street. All right, take a left on main street. When you, when you 
Uh, Let me help. Uh huh. Turn on the right on First Avenue. Turn to the right on First Avenue. Yes. Turn left. Turn left. Turn, turn, left. Turn, turn left, guys. Take a left. Take a left, right? Take a left on. Turn left. Turn left. All right, very good. Uh, Yvonne, are you able to? Are, are you able to draw, Yvonne? Because I'm not sure if you're able to draw. You're not. I don't know. What do you do, guys, to draw from your end? I think you, you have to hold the, the button. Tienes que retener el botón para dibujar. All right. Okay, okay. You have to do that. Okay. All right. So so she said, so take a take a left or take a right on First Avenue, guys. Take a right. Take a, a left. Take a left. A left. All right. Take, take a left. left, right? Left. So so, so, so hold on. Left. Guys, hold on. She took the wrong corner. Okay. So she took a right. Now, how do we tell her to go back? Go back. <laughs> go back, right? Yeah. Return. Right. return to return go, to the corner. Go back to the corner. Uh, the it's wrong way, wrong way. <laughs> Guys, it's good that you don't work for ways. Que bueno que no trabajan para ways. Right? Or Google Maps. <laughs> All right. Very good. Better uh, take the bus. Take the take the ball. <laughs> All right, very good. All right, Rebecca, I'm gonna help you, Rebecca, because I think Rebecca I cannot. Can. I, I don't know what happened there. Okay, so you guys, okay, so I am here. All right, I am here, and you told me to take a left. All right, so yeah. I am here now. So what 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 do go, I do now? Go, thank you, Rebecca. Thank straight. you. You're awesome. Go straight on first. We need the Uber. Go go straight. Go straight but if I go first. straight, I'm gonna hit the wall. Me voy a pegar contra la pared. Okay. Pine Street. This is called Pine Street. Pine Street. Oh. Oh. Turn the right. To, to the, the right. Okay. Yeah. So I'm here. So you told me to go to the right, and I'm here. Oh, I went all the way to the right. Oh. <laughs> to the left. To the left. To the left. Hey. To the left. Right? I'm gonna go all the, the way to the left. All right. Fine. Oh. To the left. The left. To the left. To the right. All right. right. To the right. Where do you want to go, teacher? I want to go to the hotel. Like to go at Kim Plaza Hotel. All right. Around. All right. Uh okay, so I am I am here. Okay, I am here. Okay, I am here. Where do I go? Straight on Pine Street. And I go turn... straight on Pine Street. Okay. Uh, no, uh, there are a preposition uh, that say right when you enter Avenue. in the and place. Turn, and right. turn right of Maple Avenue. I don't and turn remember. Right of Maple Avenue. Very good. Turn, turn right on, on Maple right Avenue. Maple yes. Avenue. Okay, very good. So and I am then, here, guys. And then turn right on. I'm Elm, Elm Street, Elm Street. El, Elm Street. Okay, so I am here. All right, all right good job. Good job, guys. Woo! <laughs> very good, guys. Very good, guys. So, very good. That's good, guys. It, it, it's a little disaster. difficult. It's a little difficult, teacher. Yeah, little yeah no. Difficult. I know, guys. I know. I know. We're gonna practice more, guys. Okay, all right. I think this is a nice activity. You know, it's a nice activity for you to practice, um, <laughs> and it's fun, guys. It's funny for me. I'm sorry. I don't know if it's funny for you guys, but it's funny for me. I don't know if you have fun in this class, guys, but I, I certainly do. You know, it's it's crazy. I like um, see, I like how excited Emerson is. <laughs> <laughs> You're good, Emerson. <laughs> You're good, okay? All right, anyways, guys. Um, all right, did you learn something today? Tell me something that you learned today. Oh, yes, <laughs> the teacher can leave and the Okay. All right, very good, guys, very good, okay? Right, so now you know how to give directions, right? When you go de mojado a los estados, you know, oh, I buy a por aquí, or not kidding, guys. I don't do that, right? <laughs> All right. Anyways, guys, so um, that's it, guys. Do you have any question for me? Remember, guys, no class tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow, guys. Okay.